I started doing photography when I was 13, 14 years old. I was in a writing program called Young Chicago Authors and they offered the students an opportunity to take um, other classes and photography was one of them. And I took it and I just fell in love with photography and I've been doing it ever since. Photography to me is just another form of communication. Um, I often tell um, the students that I used to teach that who you photograph and how you photograph actually says more about you as a photographer as it does the person or the scene that you're taking a picture of because it's a way for you to express how you view something. With street photography is kind of like just the first and primary um, way of photography. So it's essentially when you just grab your camera and you walk around and you photograph what is interesting to you without an assignment, without anything guiding you other than your personal choice. So that's what street photography is. It's, it's dealing with the elements inside or outside, not knowing what you're going to photograph or capture and adjusting your camera settings to adapt to whatever moment it is that you want to capture. Being a photographer, and specifically a street photographer, um, and a photographer of color, I use my camera to essentially be empathetic. So I really think about the neighborhood or the people that I'm photographing, and I think about how if they would be proud or how they would feel about the photograph I take of them in their space or just of them. So it really has taught me a lot about empathy and perception and how you can convey an image without um, disrespecting a person or devaluing their situation. So photography has really taught me a lot about empathy and has heighten my own empathy as a person. I've been showing my work to my friends, my community, and they've just supported me, you know, the community of Inglewood, um, and they've supported me so much and have instilled so much pride and confidence in my work that um, I really don't have any fear of where I wanna take it. I definitely know that I wanna use my photography as a platform to kind of change the uh, negative perceptions of not only Inglewood, but just of black people in general. I see the world in photos, <laughs> constantly. Uh, I often joke that I need just like a camera built into my eye and that when I blink, it, it will just take a picture because that's how that's how many photographs I see every day. It's, it's, it's almost annoying because if I don't have my camera, and I see so many moments I get upset that I didn't get to capture it. But so much of everyday life is um, beautiful to me uh, or interesting. And I really think that you could capture so many moments of a day and, and it would be beautiful art. Hip hop has played a huge role in my photography because um, obviously I grew up in the 80s and 90s and at, at, at the height of all genres of hip hop. So it's definitely influenced what I pay attention to when I'm on the street. And then also it definitely influences um, my comfortability being on the street in our neighborhoods as a photographer because, um, you know, I definitely don't view or feel intimidated or scared by uh, young black men who are dressed in whatever the current trend is because, because I essentially grew up in hip hop and I'm familiar with that dynamic. Um, I'm not afraid to uh, walk up to the youth because I feel really connected to them because I understand and, and that's primarily because of hip hop. For me personally, um, the two major things that makes a photo stand out is um, what it makes you feel, what it makes you think about, and then 
obviously, you know, just aesthetically, the composition, just the interesting art of it. You know, if the colors are interesting, if the lines are interesting, if the angle is interesting. So, so just the composition of a photo and how that can make you feel connected to it are the two major things about um, photography, or the most important things about photography to me. The larger purpose of my work is to uh, show people who I photograph in the community that I photograph, specifically Inglewood, that, that I see us as beautiful, that our communities are beautiful, um, that we can be works of art, and we don't have to just exist in a space where we're being reported, where our communities are being reported on just by crime or, or being a victim. I really want to show people in our community that I see us and our communities as beautiful. So far, since the only real focus project that I've had um, is the current project that's on exhibit at Root Work Gallery, Everyday Rituals, that was the only project where I essentially planned um, where I wanted to shoot and kind of the uh, moments that I wanted to capture. Prior to this current project, my previous project was just all street photography. I never planned anything. I might have just planned uh, where I wanted to go, but I never really planned any of my shots. I usually just catch them, you know, just doing regular street photography. You can find me online at www.tonikaj.com. That's T-O-N-I-K-J.com. You can also find me on Facebook as just simply Tonika, T-O-N-I-K-A. And then I'm on Instagram as Tonika J, T-O-N-I-K-A-J.